Hi everyone, I'm Ms. McCalman. If you don't know me already, I'm Mrs. Erickson's student teacher, and we are just going to be going over shading simple shapes and starting with our sphere. So there's my finished drawing in my sketchbook. And the setup is pretty simple. You got your light box, your direct light source, and your shape. And there's a picture of mine. You just want to make sure that your light source is close enough so you have a nice cast shadow to draw from. And as you can see, I started out really light. And there's me drawing my lamp just to show the direction of my light source. And I'm kind of just sketching in those areas really lightly and then I just go right into building up my value because when you're drawing these shapes from life you're not outlining it. You don't see me drawing a really dark circle here. I'm defining my shape with my value. And I just started with my 2H pencil, the lightest one, just to do those first sketch marks. And as you'll see, I start to build up more layers. So this is building off of our value scale practice where I really wanted you to focus on building up your value instead of just pressing harder. If you find that you're really just trying to press your pencil harder to achieve your value, that's a good sign that you need to move on and choose a different pencil maybe. And even though the bottom of my light box was that white paper, I still need to add some value to it because even though it's white, it is a little bit darker than where the highlight is hitting on that ping pong ball. Value is all about relativity. You don't, you can't have something that's very light without something that's darker. It's why one object can look darker in certain lights than others or depending on what it's next to. Um, you guys probably remember the whole gold dress debacle. That was because of lighting. So it's really key to get everything established correctly and that's why we're drawing from observation. So I moved on to the 2B to add in some more value there kind of once I figured out where my stronger areas of value would be. And you can see on the bottom right side of my sphere there, you can see the reflected light. And that is really going to add to the realism of your drawing. And you'll see it. Once you set up your light box, you're going to see that the reflected light is not just something that your art teachers are making up. You'll actually be able to see it there. And then I moved on to the 4B. I tried to use all my pencils for this um, to really layer in those values. And I'm using my kneaded eraser a bit. I think it's a little bit of a softer edge for erasing than your white eraser. And there I'm kind of cleaning up that edge too. And so then I'm going to identify the parts of light, which are your light source, which isn't technically a part of light, but it is something I want you to have for this assignment, just so you can kind of see, oh, if the light source is coming from this side, how does that affect the shape that I am drawing? And then you're going to have your highlight, your middle or transitional value, your core shadow, your reflected light, and your cast shadow. So I'm just drawing right onto my image. You can do this too if you want, um, just to kind of help you practice this. Um, it's good practice to identify these areas of light in your actual drawing. And then you can make sure that you got everything. Like, did you do you have a distinct highlight? Do you have a good transitional or middle value there? Did you remember your reflected light? Because that it's a really small detail that will make a huge difference in your drawing. And your core shadow, that is kind of the main area of your shadow, but it could 
look completely different than the overall value of the object that you're drawing because that's pretty dark but we all know the ping pong ball was white so don't get too bogged down by the idea of what color an object is while you're drawing it just think about the value and I'll kind of talk about that when we move on to the cube too and there you have it that is your shaded sphere so now get out your sketchbook and give it a try on your own.